If you guys are in need for extra space, well, check this out. We'll take a look at this M.2 NVMe. This is 500 gigs, but you could buy additional space in there. You could buy up to a two terabyte station, all right? They give you a little, a little uh, Phillips in here to actually remove the actual components and also additional screws for any kind of motherboard that you have. They do have NVMe external drives. And of course the transfer rate is gonna be a slower because you're doing a USB type four, uh, uh, a type C, I'm sorry. So, all right, when you're installing something like this, I just plugged it in right now and I'm gonna show you. If you have Windows 11, uh, this is pretty much where you have to go into. You go into right click on here. You have to go into where it says um, not device management, but you have to go into disk management, all right? And it's not going to identify it yet. It might pop out well, sometimes. It just popped like today. It just popped out right away. It's, it says, do you want to continue um, creating the actual boot sequence? They give you multiple options. So you're just going to go with the letter that we currently have. And here's the option that I was talking about. NTFS is uh, secure and encrypted. Uh, you could transfer higher than five gigs on this one. All right, we're gonna grab a couple gigs. Uh, it's transferring pretty quick right now because it, like I said, it's a fourth gen. It's gonna jam in here. If you guys can see, it's gonna take about the two minutes. So here we have a PlayStation 5. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade the drive, all right? Give all right, we got it set up in here. My recommendation down the line, if it starts getting overheated, you want to make sure maybe buy a thermal tape in here and add it in there. For, for now, we set it up. All right. So now that we got the M M.2 Gen 4 set up, it's gonna ask us to do, we're gonna say, we're gonna format. So we move it down to format, and it's gonna start formatting automatically the card, telling you that it's installed. And I'm gonna show you guys right now. A space storage, so we can add additional games if we want, or you wanna save your process, you can save it through there. So hit okay, hit okay. Hit OK, and it's going to run a couple of minutes, a seconds, and later down the line, you can make it your main drive, but because it's 500 gigs, I will keep it as a backup. All right, we're going to go storage to see the space, if you guys can see that, and now we're going to go into the M.2, and there it is. That's how much you have space. Now, when you start saving things, you're going to see it line up in here. And that's per And if you need to reformat it, they give you that option too here. So also available.